So I was thinking about thumbs down. You know, here on YouTube, they have, you can click thumbs up or thumbs down. And for thumbs up, they show you how many other people appreciated that video and gave it a thumbs up. But for a thumbs down, they don't. They don't tell you how many people. And what I'm wondering is, what is the purpose of that? Now, I've never, ever given any video a thumbs down. I suppose maybe if uh, I clicked on a video and somebody was supporting Hitler, I might give it a thumbs down or something like that. Or if, or if I thought it was false advertising, maybe somebody had a description that had nothing to do with their video just to trick me into clicking on it, I might give it a thumbs down. But generally, I, I appreciate the fact even if I don't like the video, I appreciate the fact that somebody is creating content and trying to do something, right? I remember years ago, YouTube used to show you how many thumbs down a video had. And I remember seeing this one of some young kids doing a cover of a Beatles song. And they did it wonderfully. They played it well, they sang it well and everything. And there was like, you know, 30,000 thumbs up and there was a couple dozen thumbs down. I'm like, why would you give that a thumbs down? Even if you don't like covers, th th then why did you click on it? And because you... It, anyway, the reason why I'm saying that is now they don't show you how many thumbs down a video gets. So it doesn't help the viewer at all. I guess it helps YouTube punish those videos that have thumbs down because YouTube apparently uses those to rank videos. I don't know. But as far as a creator goes, I get a thumbs down without a comment, and now I'm stuck wondering, what did I do to cause this person to give me a thumbs down? I just don't get it. I mean, sometimes people will give you a thumbs down, and then they'll tell you why in the comments. But recently, I had a couple thumbs downs with no explanation. I mean, did you not like my presentation? Did I get something wrong? Am I, is my face just that bad that you have to give me? I don't know. I don't know why I got it. So it doesn't help me at all. It doesn't help you at all. I guess it's just so YouTube can slap a video that's getting thumbs down. I don't know. Just a thought. Maybe you've got some thoughts on that. Anyway, let's get on with it. I do these videos on this channel called The Head Scratch of Disbelief. And it, it, they're videos that I look at a film that defies explanation, a film that shouldn't exist but does, and I try to figure out why it does exist. And I'm always looking for new films to do on the channel, and I, I thought I found one recently. It was called The Dead Talk Back. Usually I can find something, a newspaper article, an interview, or whatever, but this film, nothing. And the thing is, well, it's not a very good film. But I've seen a lot worse from the same time period that made The Drive-In Circuit. So I'm not sure what happened to this because though it was made in 1957, it was never released until Sinister Cinema found it and released it in 1993. Odd, right? And now I've never seen it, probably like you, until it was on Mystery Science Theater 3000 in 1994. And unfortunately, the only version I can find of the movie anywhere on the internet or cable or streaming is the Mystery Science Theater 3000 version, so I'm gonna have to go with that. Now, while I didn't come across anything about the film itself, I did find a bit about the man who created it, Merle S. Gould. Merle was the writer and director of the film. Gould was a World War II hero from North Minneapolis, Minnesota. He flew 39 combat missions in the South Pacific during his 11-year military career. Now, I don't know if this had anything to do with his war experiences, but Mr. Gould became obsessed with life after death. In 1956, he made a film called The Body is a Shell. Now, I've never seen it before, but according to IMDb, when the victim of a car accident realizes that he is really dead, he tries to communicate to his wife the location of stocks and bonds he carried via dreams, mediums, seances, and a Ouija board. Now, the star of the film is Andre Farnese, and I only bring that up because the Dead Talk Back stars Aldo Farnese, and the cinematographer was Andrew Farnese. I assume they're all related, possibly brothers. Maybe their parents had a, a weird thing of naming all their kids with first names that begin with A. I don't know. So the Dead Talk Back would have been his follow-up film, but I can't find any mention of it anywhere. In fact, the newspaper article that 
that even mentions the film was from 1993, and that's just explaining that Cinema Cinema found it and is releasing it on DVD. In fact, the article wonders if Ghost in the Shell and The Dead Talk Back are the same film, but I don't believe they are. Now, Merle S. Gould wasn't done. In 1961, he made a film called Mystic Prophecies and Nostradamus, which was narrated by Basil Rathbone, and his obsession with life after death seemed to go on. He was the editor and publisher of The Cosmic Star, a newspaper about psychic phenomena. Anyway, Merle went on, I guess he spent the rest of his life lecturing about psychic phenomenon in the future and whatever, I don't know. But that's about all I can find about this film. Crazy, right? I mean, it was a movie that was made. He figures somebody at some point would have talked about it. Now, I did find out about the film star, Aldo Farnese. He lived from 1936 to 1994. He had gone to Hollywood to be an actor, and as far as I can tell, this was his only film, so he eventually returned to Philadelphia and ended up doing kid shows. He was in Dickory Dock and Adam Android in the 60s and 70s, so there was that. Anyway, I'm still really curious about this film. If you know anything at all about it, know anybody who worked on it, friends of friends, I'll take anything at this point. I just want to know more. So this won't be a head scratch video unless something amazing turns up. Anyway, I've got a busy day today. I've got a huge poker tournament that I'm hoping to do well in. And I have to get ready. I have to get myself, you know, going. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I'll be back next Saturday and we can have coffee together. Thanks a lot.